right, everybody, welcome back. We got your beach and <laughs> surf report covered. All right, all right, Here all Here with right. Stefan Lewis, what you got for us today, well, brother? Well, it, it looks like we just came off of a wonderful swell. We're seeing it right now. In fact, I can feel the anxiety of not being there. We're in the four <laughs> foot range today with beautiful west winds. It's a gorgeous beach day. We're seeing a little bit of fog, but it's gonna lift as the sun comes out. And we'll see those southern winds return for Sunday. Looks like we're going to get up to the two to three, four foot range. That's right, okay. two, three, four foot coming up real quick. And then Monday, about 1 a.m., we'll start to see that cold front. I uh, hope Mac doesn't feel like I'm battling the, uh, the whole report there. But at 1, we'll see that happen. Then we'll see the northeast fetch return. And then as we get into Tuesday, you'll see that front linger a little bit. So it'll be about 47, and you'll have that... 4-3 wetsuit on and, and you'll be crazy like me nice. out in the water. Nice. Hey, you're out there when it's <laughs> like 30 degrees. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of praying and a, and a lot of I got to go out there and get what hey, I need. Got to get my fix. That's you know? right. That's passion right yeah. there. So I have to ask you, obviously this morning it was extremely foggy. It was dangerously foggy. Right. Um, what day would you recommend if I want to go watch the sunrise? What day would you say it would be a good day? Well, Saturday I, or Sunday? I would say Saturday because again, we'll have the uh, lighter winds and and then we'll start to see the southern wind blow and so that'll blow it all inland and uh, we'll see the atmosphere warm up but okay. uh, you're seeing a big fluctuation from cold to hot so mm -hmm. that's why you get all that moisture in the air and and unfortunately on the coast we got a lot more of it than where you are inland when I say mm -hmm. inland that's over the bridge and uh, there's a lot of concrete there so you don't have that same moisture in the air like we do because we we have the bay in our backyard and the ocean in the front yard so okay but we have a, we have good swell on tap so the next few weeks we'll see these trends and when you see a cold front coming down from the gulf of alaska into the continental u.s it builds up a lot of energy and as it comes down and hits the coast we have these very strong winds. Uh, some of them are gale force, 30 to 40 knots. And so that's where we get the big surf. And if you are a goofy footer, which means you go left. So there is That's right. We learned that from me one time. <laughs> yeah. So that wraps around the south facing jetty called South Packery, um, right there by Packery Channel. And that's where the waves are. And so you have that kind of uh, northeast flow that comes through there. And then you have kind of like a northwest wind. So it shapes and makes the waves real beautiful. Um, usually you have two or three days of lingering cold weather, but by noon you see that sun come out, gets up oh, yeah. into the 60s, so it's actually tolerable to get out there right. and run, get your dogs out there. Uh, just, you know, beach weather is just wonderful it's out amazing. here. You know, it, it changes a lot. It doesn't right. ever really stay tremendously cold until about January That's or February. Right. That's right. Yeah. So I have to ask, you witnessed a fire the other day? Is that yeah, from my understanding? <laughs> we did. We we uh, we jumped on a controlled fire. Um, oh, and wow. We, we kind of improved what it would be like to capture this uncontrolled fire. So we oh had one goodness. of my friends out there. One of these days we'll show you. It's a very funny video. Uh, <laughs> it would be unfortunate if it was a bad situation. Oh, yes. But yes. we knew that it was controlled, so we got right to the edge of it. And we acted like we were reporting live. You know how I like oh, to do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're live every day. Yeah. We live from the gridiron <laughs> on the ones and twos, huh? <laughs> so, but, you know, we, we did that. And, it, you know, we, we do that. It's good that we have that uh, land conservation where we go out and we burn that because we have to control that. Come in the summer months, if it's a very, if it overgrows and a fire starts, we have this big situation. Oh, yeah, we and do. So uh, it's good that we're out there managing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was definitely like uh, apocalyptic looking as the, the smoke was just filling the sky. I wish I had I was going to say, please, next camera. time share photos yeah. and videos so we can obviously air it. And that would be great. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad everyone was okay, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> and, and so we had firefighters on the scene. We love our firefighters. Uh, I don't think we realize how important they are to yes. show up to the scene of an accident mm -hmm. or fight a house fire. I mean, they are just ready to go 24 seven. Thank you, God, for for these men and and, uh, and women. And uh, so anyways, yeah, so we're just out there on the island acting a fool. Usually we're we're always chasing the surf. But anytime we get a chance to to be funny and, and outlandish, we you know, we'll go roll in the sand dunes. Wonderful. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing your story absolutely. and the beach and surf report. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm excited to watch that sunrise this weekend. Yeah. All you surfers out there, it looks like. Uh, and the meteor shower. And the meteor shower, Tonight. of course. That's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. Yes. All right. Well, we have lots more to cover here on Coastal Living. If you're wondering what you're going to do this weekend, we got you covered with Around the Bend. We'll be right back.